Hello everyone, Shadowhunt Joker here, and today I got my deck profile ready to go on the purple deck that I used on Tuesday that helped me top my locals. Now, first things first, we'll start with the eggs. We go with the four Demi Marimons. Basically, trigger draw one on deletion, and then trash one right after. And the one Zalmon. Basically, on your turn, while there are 10 or more cards in your trash, this Digimon gains retaliation. That is actually a fun trick that we'll use later on. But basically, retaliation is, if it's deleted from losing a battle, delete that Digimon. Now, on to level threes. You got the one Gazumon. Basically, in this day and age of everybody gaining memory, or sometimes you tack into their security and they gain memory from that, this is the only way that they're gonna gain memory is if by Tamer effects. Then the one Candlemon. Just a fake off of two in case you don't draw anyone to actually digivolve with, or if you already digivolve with someone else. Little two there. One tape your mom. On deletion, trigger draw a card. Self explanatory, right? Now, two of this variation of Jimmy Devon Mons, mainly because I've already used the Digi Egg and got out one of these. Pay the two. Or, let's say I. I want to make sure that my opponent doesn't really drop out too much heavy stuff. Put this on the egg instead. Give them more. Next is three Goblin Mons. Basically, the inherent effect is trigger draw two and then trash one from your hand. Next, three Gaumon. Gilmon, Gaumon. Potato Potato. On deletion, if this card was deleted by an effect, gain one memory. Hey, I'll go with it. And lastly, three Demi Devi Mods. It's a cheap cost. Go into anything else? Yeah, I say no. Now, going into the level fours, we have the one Muzaimon, or Muzaimon. <laughs> I'm a little tongue tied saying this name. Basically, it's my Jammer Digimon. Only one. Two Devimons with Retaliation, plus Inherit Effect of Retaliation. Next, we have. Three Balmon for blockers. Always gotta have blockers. I made the new mistake long ago of not putting in blockers. I was in for a bad time. So now, there's my blockers there. And then three Miramons. Low cost, very efficient. And just in case you can't get anybody out in particular, this one, pick off the four still keeping it low. This pay cost of five if you don't have the volume. And pay cost of one if you're trying to digivolve. Need I say more? Now to level fives. I don't have any Lady Debbie Mons, but these work just as fine. Start off with a Black War Brown Mon. Basically, Digiverse 3. And you get the effect of you may play one level three purple Digimon from your trash without paying its memory cost on play effects of the Digimon do not activate. Also, you have the inherent effect of when attacking, once per turn you may delete one of your other Digimon to unsuspend this Digimon. You come in handy. Next, Skull Satamon at one. I know what you're thinking. That's a bit of a odd combination here. Well, how else do you want to get back some of your other Digimon that you've deleted? We have other ways, 
let's say you get rid of something like one of your level sixes. Get it back. So on and so forth. Next is the one from Aramon. On play, delete one of your other Digimon to delete one of your opponent's level five or lower Digimon. See where this is going? Exactly. And then one, two, three, four, Skull Marimon. Low cost. Still in that five range. Catch your opponent off guard. Maybe you need to pay five memory. Next turn, go into your level sixes. Speaking of level sixes. Dan Devimon. On your opponent's turn, once per turn, if a card is removed from your security stack, trash the top card of your opponent's security stack. You're not checking it. You might as well just trash it, right? Now, the next one, one Tactimon. I may either go two Dan Devimons or two Tactimons. Don't know yet, but right now, one and one. It helped. Mainly because while this is on the field, my opponents are a little bit iffy on when to attack. Plus, that other effect on deletion, your opponent trashes two cards from their hand. Yeah, I don't think anybody wants to uh, guile force this just yet. Now, Tacmon, when attacking, activate one of the effects below. If you have no other Digimon in play, activate all effects below instead. One, gain a memory. Two, this Digimon gains 2000 DP for the turn, or three, delete up to three of your opponent's level three Digimon. Rookie Rush Killer, then of course, gain that extra 2,000 if you wanna get rid of something off the field, or gain a memory so you can just play something else. Now, two Vambamons. There were times where I thought I bricked against red, and I just paid the full 10. Now, as I paid the 10, they immediately wasted the guy force off of me. Now, its main effect is just retaliation. It's the fact it's exact 10 that I haven't ended that. Or, if I have a level 5, it's 2. But mainly, if you're playing red and you know you can get by with this, just drop it out, flat out. Have them look at you and think, oh, okay, I got all this number on and what I'm with you. They will waste the guy for us. They will waste the transcendent sword. They want this off the field so bad because they see it's a level six, retaliation, 10,000 DP. They want this gone. And lastly, three Anubis Mountains. Self explanatory. In Digivolving, you may play one of your level three Digimon cards from your trash without paying its memory cost. And on your turn, when you play a Digimon from your trash, that Digimon gains Rush. You guys said no? You guys go any further? I do not. This helps get out those level threes back onto the field again. A little bit more if they get deleted. And feeds into your certain little play here with Kameramon and just in case you can't get this out quick enough, go from there. Now, next we have for my level sevens, three Omnimon's Warp and one's Warp Defeat. With this, trash the top three cards of your deck, then you may play up to two of your black or purple Digimon cards with a pay cost of eight or less from your trash without paying their memory cost. Also, when attacking, you return one of your level six Digimon card, well, you return one Digimon card in this Digimon's Digivolution to its own chain. Then, delete one of your opponent's unsuspended Digimon with a pay cost of 12 or less. It's like, hmm. Swing, put back in that Anubismon, get rid of a blocker, go from there. Or, in my case, Swing, and look at all these different ones I got. Mainly it's for the Anubismon. Sometimes I'll go for Attackmon, you know, wait for them to delete everything, then drop off Attack. 
go from there. Now, wart defeat, however, I've had it numerous times in my security stack. But when I get to actually use it as digivolving, one, bleed your opponent, one of your opponent's teams. I mean, there goes a Joe and Zora. There goes a red tie. There goes, I think his name is Akaiba. You're hitting something. You're getting rid of something. And then on deletion, you delete one of your opponent's Digimon. Doesn't have to be suspended or unsuspended. Just it dies, kill something. Now, we're going to go into options. Option A will be two Mega Digimon fusions. The next time you Digivolve from level 6 to level 7 for this turn, reduce the memory cost of the Digivolution by 6. Hmm. Strictly for those warts. Ward defeat, you can do it too. Be a little bit of a waste. But I go with this warts. Then at the end of the turn, return the Digimon that Digivolve with this effect to the bottom of the owner's deck. Trash all Digivolution cards of that Digimon. That seems like a struggle. But, not when you're running these. Two, option B. Jack Raid. Gain one memory for every 10 cards in your trash. Or in your security, gain two memory. Now, that don't look too bad. In all honesty, in purple, it's a plus. So, let them die. Now for the Tamers. Two Mattachitas. Start your turn. If you have two or less memory, set your memory to three. Basic standard thing. Or, if you really want to get buck wild on play, return one purple Digimon card or one purple option card from your trash to the hand. You can't get these warts or this wart defeat. Can't get them. But you can get a bunch of other stuff in there now, can't you? I mean, you can basically get all your level sixes and under. And then, to finish it off, three tie and mats. Let's start your turn if your opponent has a level six or higher Digimon in play, gain two memory. Then on your turn, all your Digimon with Omnimon in their names gain security, attack, plus one. Hmm. That's kind of strange that I have these, right? I'm just kidding. But yeah. Just in case you want to swing with that Zwart, or the Zwart Defeat, the Security plus one, go from there. Now, the main thing that you want to really focus on, if this is in your security stack, it's fine. Just remember, go on in. But these, the main ones you want to try to get underneath it is either Tactamon or Anubismon. Lastly, I may actually switch out another one of these and take out either my Black War Brownmon or I might sub out one of my Skull Miramons for another Skull Satamon. Help get back some of the stuff that I lose while keeping my trash pile in check. Going with the little Jack's Knight, I mean Jack's Raid. <laughs> Jack's Knight. But as you can see, the deck is set up so that either my memory cost is low, or for one turn I give my opponent everything that they want, but because it's so early game, they can't really do much with it. So then they have to pass it back to me. Which then, I'm sitting up to where I have everything I need and nothing of what they want. And this is what led me on Tuesday to win my locals. That's all the time I got now. This is Shadowhound Joker, and may luck always be on your side.